welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel i'm all snuggled up in a tracksuit at the minute but i am getting ready for my holiday and i realized that i haven't tried anything on yet i've just ordered loads of stuff so i don't know if it fits it, <laughs> i don't know if it looks good so i thought i'd do a kind of pack with me slash sorting out my holiday wardrobe and kind of film it for you guys so let's go into the bedroom and get trying on these clothes this one i am not sure about let me know what you think of it in the comments below i love the sleeves like the sleeves are really really pretty nice like lace detailing i've just popped a belt around it this is really misguided it's quite old so i'm not sure if it's still going to be on there but i basically never wore it because it's really low cut at the back so you can't wear a bra with it you can only wear like a um stick on bra so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just worried that this kind of lace looks a bit too like wedding-y. It doesn't look very like party and glam, I don't know. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Guys, I don't know about this one. Like it looked so good on the hanger. This is from Bershka. It just doesn't fit very well. Like it's quite baggy. This is a small one. I feel like maybe I should have got an extra small because I feel like it should be like up there and here's a bit baggy it's not really doing anything for my figure if it was like that maybe i would like it but it's like that maybe it's meant to fit like that i don't know just i think it's very flattering and also i might be really really hot in dubai in this Got nice detailing but yeah as you can see it's just a little bit big so i would size down in this damn it i don't think i kept the receipts Does anyone else do that i'm so bad <laughs> keeping receipts damn it love 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 this what's happened here oh <laughs> i haven't pulled out <laughs> you will never guess where this top's from h and m i never get evening wear in h and m really really like that cold shoulder detailing loads of like cute little frilly bits and um, this is an old misguided skirt i think they might still have it though so i'll link it below if they do but i think that looks really cute the white and the red together it's just a nice floaty top i feel like i can wear this more casually for dinner and drinks i probably won't wear this to like a club but yeah it's really nice love the little frills on the sleeve now that i'm looking at this on camera i think i like it more than i do in real life i don't know if it's very flattering i don't know i think what i'll do is wear this with denim shorts because this is like super glitzy and sparkly just team up with denim shorts to make it a little bit more cash and um, but this has got all nice glitzy gems all over it it's like a black stretchy ribbed material this is from zara the skirt is from last year from asos just realized that all my denim shorts are at my mum's so thank god i realized now so i can go and get them uh, before i go away i feel like this is more like of a cash kind of outfit even though it's got sparkles all over it <laughs> my god i love this i think this is like probably my favorite thing that i've tried on so far look at the cute balloon sleeves i think that is so lovely it's such a beautiful material i don't know if it's gonna show up on camera can you see it's kind of like crinkle material so it fits really nice super stretchy i can go out for dinner in this not worry about like sucking in the whole time i can't wait to wear this one i think i might wear this for like a brunch because then i'll be comfy like all day and night this is from bershka they've got some really really good bits in there at the minute yeah love that i just love this so much this is from misguided the material is so good you know like sometimes with cheaper dresses they can be a bit see-through and a bit flimsy like this material really really good stretchy material i love how it's kind of pleated here then you've got the nice corset kind of buckles there it's a really really nice flattering dress i do love it in black obviously because i love black <laughs> but i do kind of wish that i got it in white because i feel like that would look really summery but now that i've got this i am going to keep this because oh, love it oh my this is unreal i just want to wear this every single night in dubai to be honest this is from Fashion Nova. Not gonna lie, it took ages to come, like ages. I have had it a while, I just haven't got round to wearing it because obviously it's a very out there glamorous dress. Um, but yeah, this is my first time that I've ordered from Fashion Nova. And I really, 
really like it. It's like holographic y, sequin y, just goodness. It's not the best material for sucking you in. So, yeah, as I said, I will be getting some pants. That is a very, very good dress. Can I wear this every night in Dubai? <laughs> Okay, and I keep saying this is my favourite outfit. This is my favourite outfit ever. Oh my gosh. Look at this top. It's the most beautiful top I've ever seen in my life. It's from a brand called Wilder. Um, they're stocked in Topshop. I got it in the downstairs, like, uh, below ground floor of Topshop at Oxford Circus. I got one of their corsets before that I wore to um, Gay Pride last year and I loved it. And then I found this baby in there, the most amazing nude lace bralette with like crystals all over it. I'm just in love. This is a photo of the skirt from Misguided. So yeah, this is 100% coming with me to Dubai. Okay, beauties, we're on to another day. I've picked up my deliveries from my nans. I am in love with this outfit. What do you think? Now, so this is a body and trousers from Quiz. I was really worried that the trousers weren't gonna fit right because I'm really, I must have an unusual body for trousers, I don't know, but they never seem to fit me right. They're always too short. Um, these are perfect. It's annoying because I can't, zoom out anymore to show you but they are wide leg flared trousers red body the only thing about this body hopefully you haven't noticed yet if you have then maybe i need to rethink this outfit but i put on a red bra underneath the body just because the body is so thin there's no padding there's no underwire so i look so flat chested so i've just put a red bra on underneath it and hopefully I mean, except from seeing it here. Hopefully it isn't that noticeable. It's so comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm in loungewear. It's that comfy. Um, whereas, obviously, the other dresses, I'm like, mm, suck it in. <laughs> Tried to move me back a little bit. Still can't see. <laughs> You're literally halfway across the room. This is, again, from Quiz. I really didn't know whether to order this because it was reduced to £10. I feel like there was a mistake, but I'm really glad I got it really nice casual dressy maxi dress it goes in a tie here and then this bit like wraps over so it's quite floaty i love how it crosses over here at the neckline it's a really nice color a snake print because i don't really like when snake prints too dark um if that makes sense it's just a really really pretty dress Tenor, what? This is from Misguided. I've just put on my red lacy bra because very low cut. <laughs> this, I can't show you. Can I? <laughs> the trousers are unbelievably long. Um, obviously, I've, I've got my red trousers and red body that I'm gonna take out there, so I'm not gonna take this to Dubai. But let me know what you think of it. Do you like it? Because I can get my nan to shorten the legs. She's very good on the uh, old machine but does this look weird like this or what else i could wear underneath it unless i wore the red body underneath this i just would not feel comfortable literally just wearing this without anything <laughs> literally goes down to your belly button but it fits nice like around here and stuff i feel like it's quite flattering oh my gosh is this not just the most amazing loungewear set ever this is from bow avenue it is the coziest fabric like I'm not going to be able to show you, but it's basically like really thick and warm. Not really thick, but you know, just like, it feels like a throw. Like it feels like a blanket. Fits so nice. So I think I might wear this to the airport. So cute. And the leggings have got like a nice bit of elastic band there. So cute. Here, let me show you. This again is from Bow Avenue. I've just washed it because I w thought I was really clever and I was like, oh, I'm going to wear it before I go away. And I was cooking and I got food down it. <laughs> so I've just quickly hand washed it and I'm hoping it's going to be dry because that literally is like pajamas. It's the most comfiest, like it's a cashmere blend. It's the most comfiest fabric ever. So obviously it's inside out at the minute, but that's really comfy so i'm either gonna wear this or this <laughs> so i had the biggest freak out last night like, so many things have been going wrong like 
I think it's because I'm on my period that I'm probably a bit more emotional than normal but um you have just been crying like so much this week it's just because silly little things have all gone wrong one of the things being that 11 girls who I know who are booked on the exact same flight as me have got 30 kg and I've got 15. What? I have spent I don't know how many phone calls maybe like five phone calls to Emirates crying down the phone like my friends are going for a week I'm going for two weeks and I have 15 kg like you go to Spain two hours away and get more luggage allowance than that and this is Emirates so I was like is there nothing you're gonna do so I've had to spend 150 pounds more to get more luggage so that's just been really really frustrating and then I thought that most of my summer stuff was still at my mum's like I thought that my denim shorts were there and she looked last night and they're not there so literally at the last minute I ordered some denim shorts because I've got no denim shorts here so um hopefully these are gonna fit these arrived a couple of hours ago I bought two from misguided two from pretty little thing oh, the stress before holiday is not fun okay so these two are from misguided I really like the look of these these look like they could be a winner these don't look high-waisted at all so i don't think they're gonna work um but i do really like the ripped detail on the pretty little thin ones but it just depends how high they go up and then i've got some white ones as well which is quite nice so let's let's try these on maybe this was a godsend because i think these are my favorite denim shorts i've ever owned <laughs> they're so nice they fit really well they're like baggy i did struggle to get them like over my hips i'm not gonna lie but because they sit high-waisted they fit like so good they're not too tight i really like them i love all the fraying yes okay i'm happy hey right now i'm just gonna end up keeping them all because i do really like these as well or is it too much does it look weird that they're symmetrical the slits like now i'm looking at it in the mirror i feel like it looks a little bit weird what do you think but they fit really good like shorts never fit me i'm really surprised um yeah pretty little thin ones they fit really good but yeah i'm not sure about this situation the more i'm looking at it the weirder it looks what do we think about these these are really really comfy like, i can't describe them they're like really thin denim if that makes sense they're not like stiff denim um i feel like i look so tan right now um, the fake tan that i'm wearing will be on my instagram soon because i've been loving it what do you think i don't know whether to keep these or not they are a bit big actually probably too big if i wear a belt though because these are really comfy material we try a belt no about these ones i hate this bit <laughs> on shorts where they like go like that around your crotch <laughs> I don't know. So I am gonna 100% keep these ones. They are my fave. So glad I've got these. I've got so much to do. It's unbelievable. It's called to four and I need to edit four YouTube videos and four Instagram videos. I just, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try and make it happen. Um, let's show you some bits I picked up. So I went into super drug was it boots no i went into boots and just picked up some bits that i needed so this best razor ever if you're going away it's a snap razor by gillette venus it's tiny it's literally that size so so perfect if you're going away and um, these get prickly heat when i'm on holiday always so hey people tablets spencer dine was on was it on a special offer i feel like it was i spent like se over 70 pounds in boots i'm like i have no idea how that happened but spencer dine this is the whitening one the hugest tub e45 because i love this stuff and i'm running low so <laughs> Stocked up. I think this was on offer as well for a special price. Now my eyes have been so sensitive lately. I don't know what it is or what's causing it, but I keep getting like a really watery eye at the edge of my eye, which is really annoying because if I've got like liquid eyeliner on, it just cuts through it. And you know when your skin goes like really sore and you can't apply makeup on top of it again? That is what's happening right now. So um, especially in the sunshine as well, I find that like, my eyes are really sensitive. So <laughs> I've stocked up on these. And when I get tired or run down, and obviously I'm probably going to get tired on holiday because we're going to be like non-stop, um, my eyes get really, really bloodshot. So I'm going to try these. I have no idea if they work or, yeah, what. But I'm going to try them. The Optrex Dazzling Eye Drop. And then I also got 
the Optrex, which I loved. So this is the Acti Mist. So you can just spray it onto closed eyes. So I'm just going to keep this in my beach bag. So if I feel like my eyes are getting irritated, I can just spray that and hopefully it will calm it down. Deodorant. Okay, now again, I don't know if these work. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried these before. C band. So I've got this band that I'm going to wear. I've also got motion sickness tablet. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting the worst travel sickness lately. Like, I only was on a flight to Belfast for an hour. It was quite bumpy. So I don't know if that's what caused it, but I felt like the room was moving in the evening. Like, it's just such a horrible feeling and I think we might be going on a boat trip and if we do then the last <laughs> two times I've been on a boat I've nearly spewed my life up and I really don't want that to happen so I'm going to do everything I can to stop feeling like that like it's just the worst feeling when you feel like the room's spinning or you're moving Ugh, it's just horrible. Maybe I just shouldn't go on the boat that'd probably be a better idea <laughs> Listerine, some mouthwash oh I bought this Soap and Glory Mother Pucker Lip Plumping Gloss. Um, I've tried these before and I love them. They're the ones that kind of tingle your lips and plump them up. But the shade looks really, really nice. Um, this is called Candy Queen. It's like a nice shimmery peachy colour. So yeah, I feel like that'll be nice on holiday. I've got everyone onto this, like all of my friends have been loving this. <laughs> the Boots Smile, um, what is it called? A breath spray. It's just so good if you're out, say if you've been for dinner and you don't feel like you've got like fresh breath. Rather than having a chewing gum and it just tasting like bleh after a while, this is really good, just to, like freshen your breath up. So I always have one of them in my handbag. Oh, I've got two. <laughs> So that's everything I picked up from Boots. Now in terms of beauty stuff that I'm going to take, I've sorted out a few bits. Obviously I still need to pack, I don't even know when that's going <laughs> to when that's going to happen. Um, but I've got some new Ultra Sun, oh, the best skincare. If you want to protect your skin, if you want to go brown, Ultra Sun is just unreal. So I've got the SPF 30 body, pan activating high sun protection. It's for sensitive skin, which is perfect because I definitely have sensitive skin. I get prickly heat every time I go in the sun. But when I was using this last year, I did not get prickly heat. So I'm hoping that I won't get it this year. Um, water resistant, it's tan activating. So it's got antioxidants and tanning actives in the formula so it's it's not a tan in it it actually helps oh, i don't know the technical does it, does it say lamina technology which is an active ingredient that stimulates the production of melanin and activates the natural tanning process it helps you get more tanned quicker while still protecting your skin like i have never burnt my skin while using ultrasun they are the best so i've got the body and then i've also got the face one as well so spf 30 on both I'm gonna be taking these with me i also have the spf 30 tinted which is what i used last year on a holiday and this just gives you a really nice uh, tint to the skin on your face so it just gives you a bit of coverage which is really nice do need to get some after sun though so i might get that at the airport i'm gonna take this it's dirty but my favorite all-time face mask is the elizabeth arden privage what is it called the city smart double action detox peel off mask love this stuff so much i'm taking it with me i took it on my last holiday just when my skin is feeling a little bit dry i just pop this on while i'm maybe doing my hair in the evening before i do my makeup and it just makes my skin look flawless it kind of like just resurfaces the skin it makes me look really glowy so that's going to be coming with me and um, my sol de janeiro copper cabana bronze glow oil could not go on holiday without this stuff oh my god it makes your body look so unreal so yeah i'm gonna be wearing this probably will apply this day when i'm um like at beach clubs and also in the evening as well it's the most beautiful color so happy i have a brand new charlotte tilbury magic cream that feel unique sent me oh my gosh this is my favorite all-time face cream so 
that is coming a fresh new pot with me to dubai this lipstick cannot wait to wear this i think it will look really really nice once i've got a bit of a tan so this is from elizabeth arden look at that punch of color so this is called pink punch and oh it just looks like the most incredible summery color ever so i'm going to take that with me what's amazing about this is you can get this now and the campaign is on throughout march and a hundred percent of the proceeds go to un women which is a charity that help women so if you search for it on instagram all the details will be on there you've got reese with a spoon which is the face of the campaign and i have some new palettes i'm gonna take with me so i have the new huda beauty nude palette i haven't used this yet so let me know if you want me to film a video out there using this oh my god it looks so gorgeous oh my them shimmers are incredible that is like the prettiest palette i've ever seen in my life and then i have the new benefit one which is great because it's got everything all in one. Oh, it is really heavy actually not sure if i'm going to be able to take that in my case but i want to take it cheerleaders bronze squad it's got like all of my favorite bronzers and blushes and highlights all in one palette this is genius so gold rush cookie hula caramel i've never used that before um hula and coralie star i love coralie star that's such a beautiful coral blush from we are paradox i'm going to take the sea salt spray this gives a really nice like beachy texture and then when i went on that press trip i got their hangover hair elixir which is a really really nice oil serum which i'm definitely going to need like when i'm wearing extensions and stuff but i got it in this little mini key ring so yeah it's the perfect perfect travel size to take away with me i'm gonna take this fragrance you might have seen on my instagram if you follow me over there this is the new juicy couture bodacious fragrance oh, it is my favorite at the minute it's so mm, it's so so nice it's probably my favorite juicy couture fragrance it's really really summery and oh it just reminds me of summer and the main scent in it that really like stands out for me is the lychee. I'm going to take this Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. It just creates like the most amazing vowel over your skin. Like it sets your makeup but gives you like a really, really nice glow. So I can use that day and evening. Let me know if you guys want to see vlogs when I'm out in Dubai. Or yeah, what kind of videos you want me to film out there. I have got so many bikinis and I realise I haven't showed any of them in this video but I've got so many so I'm thinking maybe I could just do a separate video out there of my bikini haul so if you do want to see swimwear then let me know I hope you're all having a really good week make sure you follow me over on Instagram to keep a check on what I'm up to in Dubai and I will see you in my next video bye